The Sydney Hobart is one of the preeminent mixed fleet yacht races in the world. The race takes place every year starting on December 26th, Boxing Day, and this year more than 100 yachts ranging from 34 to 100 feet embarked on the challenging 628 nautical mile race from Sydney to Hobart and across the notorious Bass Strait. The race attracts the top monohull racers from around the globe, but there is one curious thing that separates the Sydney Hobart from other major mixed fleet races around the world. The Sydney Hobart doesn't allow multi-hulls. But why exactly is that? Only the race organizers know for sure, but I have a pretty good idea. A while back, I did a video on why multi-hulls are so fast, where I compared Comanche, who won line honors in this year's Sydney Hobart, with IDEX Sport, the fastest trimaran to circumnavigate the globe, and while IDEX Sport wasn't even on the podium in this year's Route de Rum, so it isn't even a fast trimaran by today's standards, it's still close to 50% faster than Comanche. This means multi-hulls are pretty much assured to get line honors, or first to finish, in any mixed fleet race they are allowed to enter. This year's Sydney Hobart line honors leaders are Andu Comanche, Law Connect, Blackjack, and last but not least, Hamilton Island Wild Oats, owned by the Oatley family, which has won line honors a staggering nine times. These are all Australian-owned or chartered boats, and sponsored by Australian or regional companies or events that have close affiliations with the owners or charterers. For example, John Winning Jr. is an Australian appliance mogul, and his sponsor, Andu, is a major regional appliance retailer. So winning line honors in the Sydney Hobart is a big deal for both him and his sponsors. Now, if we look at another major mixed fleet race, the Fastnet, which is slightly longer, but takes place in the waters off the UK and France, we start to get a sense of why the Sydney Hobart organizers don't want multi-hulls. Pretty much all of the major ocean racing multi-hull campaigns in the world are owned, skippered, and sponsored by the French. So including multi-hulls in the Sydney Hobart would all but guarantee that Australian owners, skippers, and sponsors would be ousted from the line honors podium and replaced by the French. And because sponsorship is such a big deal, that's a bitter pill the race organizers just don't want to swallow. Of course, it could also promote Australian investment in major multi-hull campaigns, but that's a risk the race organizers just aren't willing to take, at least for now. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about the Sydney Hobart not allowing multi-hulls. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know why multi-hulls are so much faster than mono-hulls, watch this next video.